it's really just moving from that old format of, of the traditional lecture, standing up in front of a whole classroom of students, to uh, what we're now doing is pre-recording lectures and um, posting that online. So those students who are um, external in particular, but also for the internals, they can just listen to it whenever they want to, and whenever it suits them. I suppose the, the, the main change I've made is that I no longer offer live lectures, face-to-face -face lectures. All lectures are now pre-recorded and simply made available through iLearn. The idea is that every week, rather than having that face-to-face -face lecture um, for about three hours, they've had a pre-recorded lecture provided online, which they are supposed to listen to, and they will have also read the readings that we've suggested, and then they come, the internal students come to this face-to-face -face seminar, which is not the lecturer up there in front of them. We'd sit down as a group and talk, or I have them do activities in class. Um, so in that way, they have to have done some work prior to coming to class. And they're simply audio lectures. I haven't yet progressed to the video lecture. But what I provide the students with is um, an audio lecture and accompanying PowerPoint presentation where the slides are numbered and I refer to the slide numbers. I think when they come to class and they realize they can't actually participate in any meaningful way, if they haven't listened to the lecture um, or done some of the readings that we've uh, suggested they read, they really don't know, um, they, they're not informed, so they can't participate. If a student turns up at a tutorial and hasn't um, answered all the questions correctly, then their attendance at the tutorial one will count for zero. The flipped classroom allows us to have um, students in very different time zones because we've got lots of international students, um, in, um, even um, military personnel that are trying to do a degree while they're on deployment. A change that I'm going to make this year is that I'm going to break lectures down into modules so that instead of a two-hour lecture there might be, for instance, five 20-minute segments now the reason I'm going to do that is that I want to, after each segment, I want to introduce quiz questions which the students will be required to answer and required to get right. But we've noticed a much better and more informed um, sense of engagement with the students because of it. Compulsory lecture quizzes, uh, a requirement that the, these lecture quizzes be completed prior to the tutorial and breaking down lectures into 20-minute sections.